Okay, so in this video, what we're going to look at is questions 8 and 9. Now, both of them are actually very similar, so I'm just going to work through question 8. And then hopefully once you see some of the reasoning there, you'll be able to look at 9 and, and complete that one on your own. So we're given a, um, a statement where um, basically it's a parallel line statement um, where segment BG is parallel to CE. So when we look at this diagram, they're telling us that this line here, I'm going to put two marks in, is parallel to CE. Okay, that's just an indication of what is um, parallel because we know there's another set of parallel lines here that are G and E is parallel to A to C. Okay, so I'm just going to indicate by putting different amounts of arrows on those. Now we are asked to prove or determine what is the measure of angle C, B, and D. So I'm going to put that angle in a different color here, blue we're asked to look at what this angle is right here. So it's a tiny angle. It's the one I've marked in blue and it goes against this sort of this transversal. Well, it's actually not a transversal. It's, it's, um, it, forms an, it, it forms one of the sides of an inside triangle. So how could we get started to look at a question like this one here? So we, are, we have some values. We have 39 is one of the, in, one of the looks like the apex angle of a triangle. We have 19 on an angle at, which is adjacent to one of the parallel lines. But again, it's not against the transversal. And we have the number 71. So because um, the first two, 19 and 39, those angles aren't on a transversal, we need to look at what 71 is here. So 71 is... Um, against, a, it's on a transversal against two parallel lines, which means that this value right here, um, I'm going to use two hash marks for this angle here, okay, is equal to this whole angle right down here, okay? Because those are alternate interior angles. Um, they are alter on alternate sides. They are on the inside of the two parallel lines, but on alternate sides of the in of the um, uh, of the two parallel lines. So we can say um, that one of the angles here. Now I have to kind of name this carefully here. Angle B F E. Okay, I'm looking at F as being the central angle here. Is equal to. 71 degrees. Okay, and the reason that is is these are called alternate interior angles. Okay, but now there is a there's a, there's actually three angles here on that side. There's the 19, there's the total part which is 71, and then there is an angle which is equal to a little bit of a different um, segment here. So there, it's actually angle B, F, central is F, but instead of E being the other side, it's actually goes up to ray D, okay? So B, F, D. Now, in order for us to calculate that, we just need to do a subtraction, okay? So it's a subtraction of angles. And the angles we're going to subtract are is going to be the, the total side of the angle, 71 minus 19. Okay, and that will give us 52 degrees. Let me just make sure that's correct here. So the big angle is 71 minus 19, and that will give us 52 degrees. Now that gives us what one of the angles on that triangle would be. Um, it still doesn't get help, help us get to the other side of it yet, but that does give us two of the three angles in the triangle. So if we keep thinking about this, um, I'm going to use another color here. Let's use, uh, let's use uh, pink this time. We know one of the angles is 39, this one. We actually do know what this angle here now is, is 52. 
But if we could figure out what this one is here, so I'm going to have to put these some different hash marks here, um, or different color anyway. This angle right here, if we can calculate that one, okay, we're almost then, be able, we'll almost be able to figure out what that small missing piece is. So to do that one is we need to, we're actually going to be looking at uh, angle it's this inside one here off angle B. So we're going to call this angle F B is our central angle to D. So F B D. So what is the measure of that angle? Well, this is going to simply be angles on a triangle. So um, angles add to 180 degrees. So because it's a triangle because there's that inside piece. So we, it's going to be 180 minus 39 minus 52, which is going to equal um, what do we get with that here? Let's make sure we do this one right. 180 minus 39 minus 52, which is going to give us 89 degrees. So that little pink angle there is going to be 89. So how do we get to the blue angle at this point? Because that's what the, um, we, we're trying to figure out. Well, we do know one thing here. This is a straight line. Um, and we know one of the angles is now 71. We know the other angle that we just calculated is 89. So the little missing piece, which would form the rest of that straight line, is equal is going to be equal to the difference of those. So I'm just going to take this up to this up here and do this one in pink. So angle C, B, D, which is what we're looking to find, is equal to 180 degrees, because that's a straight line, or what we could say it's supplementary, minus the 71 that's given, minus the 89 that we calculated. So when we look through those and we calculate that, we will get an answer of 20 degrees. So that tiny little sliver, actually let me do that in blue. Let me just erase that here so we know we have, you know which one we're talking about in blue here. That is equal to 20 degrees. So that is what the little missing angle here is. And we can, the reasoning behind this is we can say this is equal to um, supplementary angles add to 180 or um, simply you can just say angles on a line equal angles on a line um, equal 180 degrees that would be our reasoning okay so it takes a few steps to kind of get through this one this one's a little bit more complicated it sort of has a triangle that's embedded in a set of parallel lines and you have to do some calculations in order to keep track of which one is which and also some reasoning for that. So the other question is very similar. Um, they're asked you to find angle F, D, E. So that is going to actually be this angle right here. I'll mark this one in blue again and you will take this you go through the same sort of reasoning process it's um you've got a couple of you've got a couple of triangles here um you do have a straight line so you know that if you could find one of the other angles um that the sum of them would add up to 180 degrees but you have to kind of work out which of the pieces you are going to find so I'm going to leave that one and see if you can kind of work through that one um, because it is very similar based on the other question.